Hi everybody, it's Zaz here from Heel vs. Babyface. That's me in the bottom left of Veil of Eternal Blossoms. And pet battles are something which I haven't given enough attention to. But now, on the PTR for patch 5.2, they have added the Ten Beasts of Fable. Yeah, it wasn't quite as dramatic as I hoped it would turn out to be. Now, when I first started this fight... And this is actually the very first attempt that I have at no no. Um, I kind of soiled my pants because not, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm consonant or anything like that. But I saw it had four thousand one hundred and forty-four health. And normally, when we've been tackling legendaries or epic or just literally any pet battle from about level fifteen on onwards, there's always been three of them. And I thought, if they expect me to kill three of these, they have got another thing coming. But thankfully, woof, woof, thankfully, it's only the one. But it is a legendary elite. And trust me, it's tough enough. It's got a hell of a health pool, as we've already seen. And that was my big tank pet. That was my big boy. That was what I was hoping was going to carry me through a lot more of the fight than just about 1,600 points. But it didn't. So I'm already having to rely on my next chappy. But I did select my pets carefully in as much as I have made sure that two of the pets are capable of healing themselves. So if they're not going to get knocked out quick, hopefully I'll have enough in my tank to heal myself up. And I actually went doubly, doubly careful on my third pet because I made sure that it could heal twice and the second heal could heal other party members. So I was trying all little tricks just to make sure I had plenty of healing available and would see if I could outlast the damage. And I got quite confident at this point. I was thinking, wait a minute, well, No No is half dead, and I am, well, one and a half dead. So I'm about halfway through my pets until that attack, and he's about halfway through him. So it was all looking not too bad. Not too bad at all. I've got heals at my disposal. Um, he does miss a fair bit, which I was very happy with. Let's face it. If you watch this fight back again, and you count oh, all the times <laughs> that No No misses, and if you count them as hits, I would have been wiped off the face. Absolutely wiped off the face of this battle. So maybe I got a little bit lucky as I managed to give 80 healing to one of my pets. Oh no! How good is that? So I've got 14 odd hundred points to go. I have one pet which is in good nick and one pet which is dead and one pet which is pretty much dead. He's only got about 200 health and that won't survive a single hit. So I've really got to make it count with this one. And this is the pet that I've made sure has double healing. Single healing for itself, a healing for itself, and the other party members, or at least the ones that are alive. And it helps that No-No also does this vanish attack and puts up his wall and stuff like that. Oh, missed again. Because it allows me to get my heals off and try and get back to top health as much as possible. Now, there are ten... Beasts of Fable scattered around Pandaria, and I hope over the course of the next few days and before the release of Patch 5.2 to bring you the encounters with all of them. Yeah, and I think that's going to be a tough order because I think No No is probably one of the easier, judging by the amount of times that he is missing. And if I was to encounter something which which just hit even half as much on top as what No-No does, then I'm going to struggle. So maybe I have to find a new tactic, maybe I have to think about bringing another pet in for the frog. I don't think the frog was particularly good. I'm not what you'd call massively well-versed in pet battles. I have got multiple level 25 characters, but I kind of wing it a wee bit. So if there's any pet battle aficionados out there, that could say, look, you want to bring this pet for this reason, this pet for that reason, I would love to hear. But hey who? 52 health remaining, and I managed to defeat the first beast of Fable. One down, nine to go. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. 
please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Twitter, and please do like my Facebook. I think I'm going to have to go into my pet tabs now and heal everybody up, because they're in a bit of a battered state. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.